Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numbing feeling spread from the center of my brain, almost intensely. Nagito is dead. Notice how I fucked up the word instantly and said intensely? I fucked it up. Damn it, I ruined the moment. With my shitty reading and my shitty voice and everything shitty about this fucking playthrough. Besides the game, the game's really good. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend the reality yet. Huh? Huh? What? 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 What's going on here? Are you serious? Is, is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right. It's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. And that's why... I can't believe it. Nagito... Ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito... Is dead. Deep down, I believed... That when the killing finally ended, I'd never see this guy ever again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape the truth. But even something as small as that... A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Don't tell me! The body discovery announcement? Then it's for real. Hey! Then Nagito's really dead? Damn it! it it's not just that he's dead. If the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? Killed? That's right! Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito? One of us killed him so brutally. <gasps> then, it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then... Of course! Yep, we gotta do it. We gotta find out whose Nagito killer is. Hey! No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Shing! Then, the time for action is now. So, allow me to give you the familiar Monica Mafut. Hold it right there! It. What? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to wipe out the Monica Mafut in such a cool way. You stupid Shut up! I can't stand this anymore. How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more, I won't let you. I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions. Hey, hey! S say something! This? Oh, now I remember who you are. You're Manomi. Hey! Y you just now noticed? Like. Anyways, Manomi, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. What are your real intentions, anyways? Are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? <laughs> what? No fair. You're shutting up too? Please wait! Enough already. We've already had enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, don't say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyways, let's begin. Mm? Huh? But... This is just... I mean, in the end we still have to do it, right? As long as a killing happens... We can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even present it. Uh, I know. That's the only way we can survive this. Nice. Huh. Looks like you kids are way more well-behaved than Manomi. Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me! You tried this too, you know? Oh, you tried- I fucked that up. We're tired of this too, you know? That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this- Good- uh, finish this for good this time. Nah, uh, doesn't that mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Actually... Don't worry, the end is near. Huh? The end. What's the matter? 
Don't make a face like a pig that's about to be bacon. You've already noticed it, right? <laughs> the meaning behind Monokuma Timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? What? When the timer reaches zero two days from now? What will happen to us? Huh? The killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey! It, if this finally... If this finally be over? Wait, 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 I'm sorry, wait, what? Does that mean we can go home? Wait, does that also mean there is no reason to begin the killing? You could have just waited it out? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before you've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So once again... Alright, the Monokuma file. You guys need to find out who Naito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here... There won't be an afterwards at all. Do your best. Wait! H hold on. I won't forgive you. I won't let you escape this time. Wait right there. Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at an end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? But still. Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end of us if we screw up here. Alright! Then let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. However, I'm really thinking right now as to who could possibly kill Nagito. And there's two people that come to mind, but I'll, I'll give it a second. Uh, is it nice to think everyone can go home? But that's impossible, right? I mean, someone in the room killed Nagito. There's a killer amongst us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito. Because his death was so abnormally cruel. That's probably the most fucked up one, even more fucked up than like than like the double murder. Th this is probably the most fucked up one out of the whole thing in Rumpa series that I have seen. Actually, no. Cause in in the process of doing this playthrough, I have played Ultra Despair Girls. And they're like the first person that bites the dust bites it in such a like fast and quick way. It's like what the fuck just happened. Anyways, because his death was so abnormally cruel. Now it wasn't just uh no, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it. And whatever it was, it struck with me. Okay. First we need to look at the Monokuma file. Wow. Just He had a blood type of zero? Cool. He's 5'9? Damn. Wasn't huh, I thought he was taller than that, to be honest. That's still pretty not pretty tall, but I mean like it's it's alright, sure. Why not? Yeah, it's tall. Fuck it. The victim is Nagito Komaeda! The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimate time of death is believed to be at noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yeah, that laceration looks pretty fucked up. Like someone literally just, just tortured the shit out of him. They literally tortured the shit out of him. Like, I can see it now, especially with, like, the wire around it and shit. That's fucked. Wow, and they tied him down, too. Shit. Maybe he cut himself free with a knife, and then the person just stabbed his fucking arm down? Well, his hand? Jesus, that that's fucked up. This is the most fucked up out of all the murders from, like, 1 and 2. Unless there's, like, another murder to be had. Uh, furthermore, there's a laceration on- oh yeah, I read that already. I'm sorry, but I think Naito- this is probably one of the deaths that probably is gonna stick with me for a while when it comes to Danganronpa, because holy shit, that's pretty fucked. What a tragic situation, just regarding- uh, wait, just regarding my bad. Just reading this, uh, is making me depressed. Is there something wrong with the Monokuma file? Hmm? Again? But what's wrong with it? No, not only there's a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. 
Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Okay. So, those are the wounds. It's not saying the cause of death. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation's for. Don't worry or form conclude. Wait, what? Don't worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. We can discuss it later. Right now, it's our only chance to investigate. So, we should investigate first. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Then let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. I'm sorry, I'm not really paying attention. I'm I, like, I'm trying to piece together who could have possibly killed this motherfucker. Anyways, since the curtain blocked most of the water, uh, most of the water. Wait, what? Since the curtain blocked most of the water. Yeah, okay, yeah. This area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Hmm. Th thanks to that, I can properly I can properly invest Nagito's body. I never thought I'd have to invest investigate Nagito's body. Please don't say it like that. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. Since he believed in his luck so much. Monokuma file number 5. So, Monokuma file did not mention cause of death. They just mentioned the wounds. They also didn't mention anything about him being tied down and gagged. And also... Right now, my two suspects are standing in front of me, which one is the most obvious suspect right here, Sonya, because what the fuck were you doing at the military base? But if you're heading to the military base, I really don't think you would just grab a random object like this to just spear the dude like he was fucking, like he's fucking Jesus. And the other motherfucker who I'm thinking of, because last time I saved it until we did Gundam's thing, I wanted to save it to the fucking, to the, to the, to the, to the end, because he was the only person I could think of. Was fucking Chucky. And there's two reasons why I think she's a murderous bitch now. I did not think Nagito would be killed, to be honest. I did not think that at all. But there are two things. One was that slow as fuck reaction she gave me before when I'm like, we found the bomb. She literally took like a full fucking minute to say something. And two. Why was she so eager to fucking to prove that she wasn't that she wasn't the traitor? It, there could be a possibility that she had someone else's ebook. Cause that was another thing that happened in the first game. People were switching ebooks and shit. So I'm on to these two motherfuckers. I really am. On top of that, what what the hell is with this? They stabbed him through the fucking through the plushie? Did he use that to defend himself? Monokuma's dead. There's blood coming from his stomach. Hey. No response. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced at the factory? If you mistake a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal, too. Hey! Don't put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What the heck? What, what are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like he got stabbed and going in trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? Did he try to imitate Nagito's body or something? What are you I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil. He's probably lying. Seriously, we're almost lying. Uh, yeah, you're always lying. You should just die like the plushie over there. This? You seem more pissed than usual these days, Minomi. But you better watch what you say. Hmm. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I... I won't give into your threats. I'll fight you until the very end. I'll definitely take back the seat of the world supremacy from Monokuma. Wait, what? Looks like those annoyances are gone. Hmm. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so... Is this Nagito's blood? I haven't. I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Hmm. The only thing I can think of is Nagito may have tried to use the plush to block something to block the spear, which I don't think Nagito. I guess he just panicked and grabbed the closest thing. Thought luck can maybe do it. 
But if that's if that's the truth, then I assume that would have to happen before he was tied down and gagged. So that means if the spear wound didn't kill him from a as a fatal blow, then that's uh, pretty fucked up because he was alive to be tortured. Not only that, but I think I remember Mikon saying something that if you want to torture somebody, you can you can target the stomach. There's a lot of a lot of space or something like that. Mm. Okay, well. Damn it. Fire grenades. Now. From, okay, looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably. Those fire grenades were used to put on fire. But were actually. Uh, but they weren't actually useful in the end. Now. Here's the question that I have for those fire grenades. If the remnants of the fire grenades are there, how come I don't see any trace of the chemicals for fire extinguisher, foam, or whatever the fuck that that, that white shit is that extinguished the fire? I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. Is it like foam or something? If, because I don't see any of that, I don't see a trace of that, it could have burnt up, or maybe I was right and somebody replaced that shit with oil. The fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, the evidence really isn't all that strange. You sure? Can I, can I look at that again, ma'am? I really want to see if that's oil or not. Nope, it just shows me the same thing. Okay, well. I would really like to know. How come we never seen Sonya in any of these shots? Well, never mind, that's a lie. We just saw Sonya throw the fucking fire grenade. Alright, let's check out the body. God damn it. I never expected Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We've never been confused by him again. Uh, we'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No, now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Like that fucking laceration. Man, was that necessary? There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have, been sta have stab wounds, but the wounds look like a slice. Oh, but this wound looks like a slice. This is probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look like a deep com uh, doesn't look that deep comparison to the other wounds. Wait, what? Probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look okay. Well, hmm. well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Super dick. Hmm, there's something strange. Strange what? See? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think the blood is from when his left arm was sliced, but. Does the blood splatter look strange? To cut off, uh, what? It cut off right in the middle of the palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood can reach when it splattered. Well, that would explain the blood on, uh, that would explain the blood on his palm, but, hmm, there's something else strange. When you flip it over and look at the back of his hand, well? there's also blood on, uh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. There's also blood, but only above the metal joint of his fingers. Uh, you're right. Why is there only this part? See? It's just as I said, right? Strange, hmm? I win. Yeah. Sure, you win. But, it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the mis to make the blood spider like this? Blood on the left hand has been added to the truth. Alright, it's true bullets. Can we look at the, the tyings on his leg? Or maybe the fucking spear? The spear of judgment? A spear with a flashy ornament uh, has been impaled deeply into Nagito's stomach. Mm. There's no way around it. That looks like a fatal wound. This? Oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord, uh, a cord extends from the tip of the handle and there's an iron weight attached to it. Ew. I see, I see. 
use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the f final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not. Um, this is the spear of G of G what? The spear of Gun of the Gun Gunir 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 Gunir. That's how you say that. Gunir. You definitely just came up with that right now. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did the spear come from? I feel like I saw it from Nesmi Castle. What? Nesmi Castle? Ah, uh, I was I was des what? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. Damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle. It looks like a part of his blood's on it, too. Uh, but for some reason, section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. As if he was holding the cord, maybe? That would make a lot of sense, actually. If he was holding that with his, uh, with his left hand. That would be his left hand, right? Let me... Yeah, that would be his left hand. If he was holding that with his left hand, then yeah, the blood splatter would make sense. Hmm. It's about, it's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that the section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Jakey mentioned this earlier, but apparently the spear from is from the castle. It may be better if I confirm that later. Spear of Gun Gunnar, or whatever the fuck, has been added. Alright. Hmm. Must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered up with duct tape. Was this the key Naito from screaming for help? This is bad. Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over it doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth was covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. Uh, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Jokey moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Naito's face. Uh, and, if, uh, and in one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll put it right back, right, uh, right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey. Put the duct tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine. You're gonna get cursed. Mm. Uh, the blood on Nagito's face, it looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. Hmm, if that's the case, Man. there's no use. She's not listening. Hey. hey, about the blood splattered on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? Oh, uh, what's wrong with that? Well, the duct tape has crinkles, like it was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Naito is probably desperately moving on uh, his mouth under the duct tape. <laughs> seriously, what's going? Uh, seriously, what's wrong with that? Which means Naito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got these wounds over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. Or. You know, I, I don't understand why that works, putting dust tape on people's mouths, that, that should never work. Unless you wrap it around the whole entire, like, like, bottom part, I guess, of the face. Like, I mean, like, I mean, like, neck to nose. Like, suffocate that motherfucker. <laughs> that sounded pretty brutal, didn't it? Uh, but what's wrong with that? Is that something we need to, uh, we really need to worry about? I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I want her to be like, yeah, you're right, he looks better that way. He just puts it back. Anyways, this might be some kind of clue too. I should remember it. Duct tape. Cool. Are we done? Do I gotta check the knife hand? The hand knife? The knife is stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? Um... This knife, it must be from the military base. Military base? Uh, now that you mention it, you're right. Looks like a survival knife. Well? By the way, it seems the wounds on his leg, on his leg, bah. on his legs and his left arm. <sighs> I'm yawning again. I can't stop. On his legs and left arms are caused, are fuck, are caused with the same knife, which means after the killer was finished stabbing Nagato's legs and arms, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. Be. Fucking savage. And then they finished him off with the spear. Oh, cool. Yeah, how cruel indeed. Then does that mean the killer went to the troubles of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But 
they could have just killed them by stabbing them with a knife. What if they need to use a spear at all? That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use the spear? Hmm. Okay. So are we gonna check this out? Feet? Oh, well, we didn't check that out. Both Nagato's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to a pillar nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to, Monokuma, uh, whatever, right? According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs were all stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Naito but also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like that? Damn it! At this rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge towards him. Or they might have been torturing him. T torture? I mean, it's, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you discard the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds over Naito's bodies were from the killer torturing him. If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Naito confess? Was it something that would lead to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have had deep grudge toward Naito. Refusing to let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? Torture wounds have been added to the truth bullets. That's nice. Are we done? Are we done here? Are we are we done? Burnt rope? Yeah. Naito's right wrist is tied up with rope, but it looks like the tip of the rope burnt off. Could it be used as a result of could it be a result of fire? But that's weird. If the rope is burnt off like this, hmm. Why are Naito's clothes completely unaffected by the by the fires? Completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze. Burnt rope has been added. Hmm. I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagato's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a, grizz a grizzly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer. And I'm used to something as abnormal as this. That would mean I became abnormal too. Hmm. Well, we're done here. That's nice. What other clues do we got hiding around? Maybe something behind the boxes or something up top with a curtain. Or maybe we just gotta talk to people, which I really don't want to do. Hey, Sonya. So you gonna tell me what the fuck you were doing at that base? If only everyone could uh, could go home, nothing would make me happier. No, we should finish the class trial and think about uh, what will happen after. Yeah, I guess we should. Or you can just fucking, you know, tell me. Tell me what you was doing at that military base. Kazuichi, what's up? One of us killed Nagito in such a cool way. <laughs> uh, it's too bizarre. I can't do anything except laugh. Okay. Laugh it up, motherfucker. Like... I'm not freaking out about about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Huh? What's gonna happen? This rotten school trip's gonna end, right? We can finally go back. Carefree till the end. Does that mean you don't think it'll well, yeah. happen? Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey. What do you mean something? Shut up. Shut up. He makes us kill each other, you know? What could be worse than that? I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with Countdown. Anyways, like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. Well, we'll think about the Countdown after we live through the class trial. Yeah, I know. Then don't bring up stuff like that. You alright, Okane? How you holding up? Uh, it mattered for Gundam killing and from- wait, what? It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mekon's. But it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? This time, look like the time doesn't matter. Oh yeah, you're right. Huh. We really didn't get a clear time of death. We just got one that said near noon. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file that the time of death was noon sharp. 
if it was at noon, what were we, uh, what were we doing at the at the time? Hmm. What were we doing? Uh, well, right now it's it's 12:30 p.m. So it also had a clock functionality. Hmm. That means Nagato uh, Nagato died 30 minutes ago. Huh? It happened that recently? He totally uh, he's totally a fresh kill. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. Hmm. If it happened 30 minutes ago, uh, was it about the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. All right. Which means whoever does this has an alibi for the time. It's not good. It's not good. Fuck. Whoever has an alibi is not those killers. But this could be like when Nekamaru died. The killer could have also had some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to prepare. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we could, uh, before before we found the bombs is suspicious. Wait, none of us have an alibi for the time. Then when we all split up to search for the bombs, yeah, that's the problem. Shit. All right, well, Jackie, you got anything to say for me? She looks like she's deep in thoughts while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yep, about the sprinkler. Uh, that's one of the sprinklers ahead of the active put on- wait, what? That's one of the sprinklers ahead that activated to put out the fire. You can see a, gr a grinder next- uh, right next to it. See? Ah, uh, can you see? The red- okay. Ah, uh, the red streak. By red streak, you mean pink streak because Danganronpa gives you pink blood. Which is awesome. You're right, I definitely see it. It looks like a small red line on the ceiling grater. Is that blood? Blood? The color definitely looked like blood, but there's no way blood could be up there. And I'm yawning again. Plus, it's in a strange line. Mm. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Wow, you've been saying the word strange a lot. Like, really. That in its fact that that in fact in itself is strange. Alright. Are we done here? Are we what the hell is that over there? Oh, I was looking at these two things down here. Uh fire grenades. Lighter. Uh this is It's an oil lighter. This is where the uh, this is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here... Just kidding! Ah, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep it warm. Is most foolish thought. This is clearly cause of the fire. Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy the evidence by setting the warehouse on fire. They caused the fire to destroy evidence. That's the only reason I can think of why the killer would set the fire to their crime scene, but... Oil well, lighter has been added. Now then, I guess that that's enough investigation in the area behind the curtains. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagato, there should have been another reason as well. If not, they would have gone through the trouble of tying him with a rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So, what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating other areas. He said inside the warehouse? I'm sorry, I'm yawning again. Like, I can't, I can't stop. I'm like, really tired. I'm really tired. You guys wanna know what I do? The moment I get off of work, BAM! I sit down and then I record some shit. What the fuck is this? An MP3 player? This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is it here? Maybe. It looks like the weird music was playing from there. You know, the music that was blaring when the fire started? Yeah, you're right. Looks like it brushed, uh, looked like it busted. Busted? Looked like it busted from getting, from busting a nut. It looked like it busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. Uh, there's no mistaking it. <laughs> the music was playing from the MP3 player. Yep. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music? Probably so nobody can hear his muffled screams. Can hear him go, no, 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 I'm dying. 
ton of CDs. Is this where they got the music from? All these CDs are all copies of Monica Miss Music. They should have burned too. Okay, is there anything over here? Tons of books. Tons of books. Fujiko. Monokuma panel. Okay. Is that is this a hidden Monokuma? There are a bunch of books. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it's pretty much completely soaked them. Can we check the sprinkler? I don't... I don't know what else we can do. Wait, what's that? No, not that. What's between you guys? Oh, it's just like wheels. Okay. It, it was the angle that I was looking at. Uh... Can we leave? There's still areas. Areas like what, motherfucker? I guess I'll have to talk to someone then? Jeez. We'll think about the countdown after after that. Yeah, okay. Kazuichi? Well... If we kill him, there's no way I would actually done that, you know? Okay. Looks like Sonya is focused on investigation at the warehouse, which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that, now that we're pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey Sonya, do you have a minute? Yeah, what is it? I want to talk to you about when the fake bomb Nagato set off in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It's alright, it's not a bomb. Why did you know that the bombs were fake? Uh, well... That's not all either. When you were looking for the bombs, why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you? What were you doing during that time? Oh my! Oh my. It cannot be! Do, do you suspect me? It's a misunderstanding. I'm not the killer. Jesus shit! You son of bitches! <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, wait, what? Wow, that's... that's new. Ugh, you never said that before. S sonya I am sorry! I I'm terribly sorry, I was panicking. Um... Uh, I, I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Ah. Well? At first, I was worried that someone might have used them for nefarious reason if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted the bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? And as I suspected, the bombs were, had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when, you, when we all gathered. Because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought from the military base, which means they were... Wait, what? The bombs Nagito brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out the bombs at the military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. Wait, what? I, see. I, see. I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door at the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought that I would use one of them to gain interest to the ancient ruin. However, that plan was an utter failure. Why is Monomi in the corner watching her? The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it all to hell! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... If those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was fake. However... I didn't think it was strange when Naito blew up the hotel lobby. Um. That bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Naito's plan all along. He showed he showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs were set that the bombs that were set were real. If so, then Naito's actions were extremely extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. Which this, I have explained- wait, what? With this, I have explained it. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry that I doubt you too, to be honest. So, I guess your solid, solid, solid alibi that you just gave me. Uh, confirms 
well, it's not an alibi, but, you know, your statement that you just gave me, that, which is very solid. And, actually, she did say, she does have an alibi, she has Monomi. Shit. Um, yeah, Chicky, you're looking, looking, you're looking really guilty. Like, goddamn, like, super guilty. Holy shit. Because ain't no way Fuyukiko can do it. He, he had a complete 180. Akane is literally the, uh, hmm. I don't see anything. I was about to say Akane is literally the uh, the uh, Asahina of the game, but Asahina did some nefarious shit too. But she wasn't. But she didn't like kill anybody. Um. But she tried to. But Akane, Akane is pretty straightforward, and Kazuichi just has no backbone whatsoever. And I know I didn't do it. So uh, yeah, Chiki, you're looking pretty guilty over there. I'm sorry, you just do look really guilty. Uh, still some things we gotta investigate. Kana, you got anything to say? Um... No, nope, you ain't got nothing to say for me. You got something to say, Chucky? Because you've been talking a lot this whole entire investigation. We're glad the site is completely soaked because of the sprinklers. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But, it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put the fire out. Hey, hey. But, there's a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. Right. I agree, if we did, we could have been caught by the sprinklers and became all wet and soggy. <sighs> Miss Sonya, all wet. Oh, she's all... Mm, all wet. She's all drenched and soggy. <laughs> hey! Hey! Uh, you were thinking that, huh? Of course not! I it wasn't at all! Say what? Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. Oh. <laughs> You're screwing with me! Yes. Oh my, screwing. How lewd. Ooh. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at Sonya's face. She's like, wow. You people. She's like, wow, Kazuichi, don't ever talk to me. Hey, hey, hey! Please don't look at me with such a fearful eyes. I only imagined it for a second. <laughs> Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut. Wow. Are we done here? Can we leave? What the fuck else do I have to look for? What do you want from me? I can't, you won't let me look at the sprinklers. There's a fan up there. There's a monitor. There's a, there's a camera. It's probably burnt and broken now. Like, what do you want from me? What do you want? Can I go back here? Is there something that I missed? Did I miss anything back here? Like, I looked at the fire grenades like, like two times. I don't want to do it again because I don't want to see that fucking thing again. I don't know what the hell this shit in the back was. We can't look at it. Like, this little thing sticking out over here. Like, whoa. He said we were done looking at Nagito's body, and they kicked me out to the front of the area. They said, they said, don't come looking back over here anymore. You don't need to. So they kicked me out right here. So what, what are we, what are we doing? We got a ton of books, ton of books, ton of books. We got, we got a ton of CDs. We got, we got the M MP player. We got the MP3 player, we got Chicky, we got all these. Do I look at the panels? Hmm, a lot of tipped over panels. Look like. Oh, yeah. That is kind of strange. They look like they had a domino effect. Hmm, there's a lot of tipped over monocoon panels. Panels near the curtain. And that curtain and, and the back tipped over and burnt. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall them just being all over the fucking place. Oh, no, they were just stacked neatly. Should have been neatly put away. Mm. Maybe we're the ones. Uh, maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? See? Look, the tipped over panel there by the entrance is is really close to the door. Oh, that's what you mean. For a moment, I thought you said maybe we're the ones who put them here. Like you're crazy. No. So I guess the thing that was in front of the door when Akane had to like use more force was like a bunch of the Monokuma panels. And when she used enough force, they probably all tipped over in a domino effect, lighted the lighter somehow, and then foom, everything went went ablaze. So maybe the reason these panels were tipped over is... It's fine, I'll open it slowly. Nah, that's not a problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off every warning and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter. Oh, it's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it, it's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Did I tell you it'll be fine? You just gotta use a little more force. What happened to opening it slowly? Gotta ignore their protest and with a mighty kick. Hoya! 
Could it be? Was it that? And there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey! This Monokuma panel tipped over starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, the line is the only one that's neat and ordered. So... Isn't this clearly strange? Strange, that means... We can speculate this was done intentionally. Monokuma panels. Cool. Alright, I've pretty much finished looking for the clues. The clues? The clues? The clues inside the warehouse. I was able to f I was able to find some clues, but there are still so many things I don't understand yet. You look worried. Yeah, I am. At a time like this, it might be good for you to broaden your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other investigate investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushie factory next door, Nezumi Castle where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room too. If I'm going to understand the reason of his actions, I need to know more about him. Um, I'm pretty sure the others have already finished their investigation. Can you hear me? Hey, you got... That was a new voice line. Wow. Can you hear me? Hey, you guys. It's about time we leave this place and try exploring the other areas too. In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. I see. I agree, I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we need, uh, seems we have the same idea. Uh, but is it safe? Uh, they won't, uh, there won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have no choice. Th there just aren't enough of us. Besides, we must get all we can here. I guess you're right. Also, it looks like the clue we found are enough to piece, uh, to piece this incident together. So we need to search them in other areas too. Mm -hmm. Well, alternatively, there aren't any clues in other areas either. We'll have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Yeah. Especially the give up part. Weren't you the one who was so keen on not giving up to begin with? Hey, hey! Then it's okay if we leave this place? It's okay. Yeah, I think Chiaki's the killer. If nothing around it, she's acting really weird. Really strange, quote unquote. Uh, there's no time for us to stand around. Oops, I just hit the microphone by accident. Holy shit. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. We don't, uh, if we don't sacrifice that perk, that perkin? Wow. I'm so tired. That person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Okay, so we have investigation now. All right, um, I was gonna stop the recording here, but fuck it. Yeah, we can keep going. We can, I'm gonna force myself to keep going, even though I'm so tired. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Okay, since we, this is the closest, we'll search here first. Can't be too much to look for, right? Uh, hey, what's up, Sonya? My. I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone who would normally run, who you would normally run into. However, well, uh, however, well, however, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, I a third, con a, a third, a thought occurred to me. Well, the bomb that went off in the lobby might have been set up here, huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a uh, frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that was forcing us to kill each other would devastate something? Devastate? We'll devise something like that. Amazing. A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. Right. Let us rip these apart. Let us rip these apart uh, right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we care carelessly mess with it? Hi. Either way, it is all gravy? All gravy? What the hell does that even mean? Stop! There's no bomb. Hey, um... You'll know if you just pick me up, see? All you feel is soft weight of cotton. I see. I see. Mm, you're right. Whatever. Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb oh, he no. used? I wonder. Mm. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should, uh, then you should know it wasn't from the military what? base. To tell you the truth, the bombs were all fakes. Wait, wait. I, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. No. Well, I thought it would keep quiet if it would be foreshadowing that a killing was gonna happen. That's why. I just, that's why I just now telling you for this uh, this for the first time, I'm, re I'm relieved. 
But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then he bought it from the octagon. Die. I must say, you have a good hide there, Sonya. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of the plushies seems like a splendid idea. Let's try it! That is... Did I say something I should have not? It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Monica Men's account. Man, I've never been so happy to see Sonya. Nice to know that you're not you're not evil. But you are acting pretty strange, like she <laughs> quote unquote strange. She is acting pretty weird lately. Maybe she's just cracking under pressure. Who knows? Alright, so I'm gonna assume we're done there. Because they let us leave. And we're going to head to I'm trying to think what the other places were. It was the military base. Nagito's Cottage, and... And somewhere else that I can't remember right now. Holy shit. Like, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna persevere, push through. And drill through the heavens. Pierce through the heavens. Alright, Kazuichi. What we got? Man. Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all messed up stuff is happening. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but there's there's no one on this island who can do that. Okay. I guess I'll check over here. This is where she was, like, rummaging through, right? Huge supply of guns, firearms. Ah, oh, found it. What did you find? Well, the truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like this. A survival knife? Wait, that's... Is that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? Maybe. Which means the killer obtained that knife over All here. Right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. That's everyone, though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. Huh. Oh, there's still more shit around. Cool. I thought that was the only thing we came here for. Uh, check the jeep. When I try looking through the truck bed, it's empty, nothing there. First came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. However, As I suspected, the bomb had disappeared. I thoroughly scattered, uh, I thoroughly, did I say scattered? Wow, I'm really tired. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. But did Naito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real, uh, that they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Did you really think there are enough bombs to blow up this entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nike only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motivation behind his actions. Are we done here? Good. <laughs> Good. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Can you tell? Like, I know I always joke about how I'm like, No, oh, I must have had a stroke. I can't, I can't read. I'm illiterate. But I'm actually really, really tired. My eyes are heavy as fuck, and it's hard to just stay awake right now. Um, but I'm doing this for you guys. Plushy factory, military base, we were just at those places. So what was the other place we had to go to? We had to go to his cat cottage. Wow, I'm so tired. His cottage, and here? Oh, the castle, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where the spear, that's where the um, spear came from. Wow, I never sound so happy in my life to, look, to go to a fucking castle. It's like I had a fucking epiphany in my head. Alright, let's see. Who would be in here? Probably Akane. I assume Akane, because Chiki would definitely be at Nagito's place. Oh, Fihiko, I forgot. I literally forgot that you were alive. <laughs> right, what, tell me what you found. Yo. Well, don't tell me what you found. Tell me what, what's missing, because now I can see clearly on the back wall that, yep, there was a spear missing. There was like three of them there before. Look at the wall of spears. I guess it's obvious where the weapon came from. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Right there. Nice and clean spot. 
A spear with a flashy ornament on its uh, on it on it is hanging from the wall. This spear is definitely it, right? I see. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of these spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Ganer. Ganer? Ganer? I still don't know how to say that. Huh. Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use the spear and a knife? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that could have just killed him with a knife and it would have been easier too. There's no way the spear like this is such an other. Uh, there's no way a spear like this with such an unnecessary cord on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could it be? Why could, why could that be? I feel a little tired. You and me both. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange, quote unquote strange, feeling that I never felt before. As if Naito is trying to make us suffer, even after he died. Well, now's not the time to think about a stupid thing like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate this place, we might be able to find uh, some kind of cool. Uh, some kind of cool? Wow, some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. So, we're done here. Nice. Well, I want to save the best place for last, and probably the place that Chiaki would be at. If Chiaki is at that place, instead of Akane, which. I mean, I, Akane is not smart enough. Sorry. I like Akane a lot, but I don't think she would be smart enough. But if Chiki's at that place, that's like de facto proof that she's a fucking murderous bitch. Which is weird, because how come I'm always choosing the murderous bitches to be my waifu? Come on, Mikan. I, like, I chose her because she was cool, but then... Uh, I was like, I was like, nah, you're getting picked on too much. You're gonna, you're gonna go crazy one of these days. Where's the first island? Oh, there, there we go.